Hey my peeps and peepits. Welcome back to yet another review by Zombill. And this really isn't a review, this is more like a teaching demonstration. What I'm going to show you today is how to build any kind of bottom coil clarimizer or rebuild any bottom coil clarimizer. The uh, coil head, you know, because about 95% of them are they pretty much take the Kanger type coil head. So in this you will need a small jeweler's tool, a flathead. You'll need a coil head, of course. Um, it doesn't matter what kind, as long as it's a single coil and that it's Kanger coil head type. Um, you'll need some cotton. You'll need some 28 gauge cantle. You'll need something to wrap the coil with, like a stick, much like, oh, much like this. To where you can do a good wrap, you'll need a pair of good scissors. You'll need a pair of needle nose head or a pair of needle nose pliers, and I think that's about it. Right. Well, anyways, let's have a bait, and then we'll get to it. going to use the Kumaho, Kumaiho, however that's pronounced, as it is a bottom coil clarimizer. So first what you need to do is after you've cleaned up your tank and pretty much rid yourself of excess juice from the coil head, you basically pull your coil head out of the base. Now this can work on any kind of bottom coil clarimizer like the Pro Tank, Pro Tank 2, as long as it's a single coil and not one of the newer BDCs. Now you'll remove this plastic grommet because we won't need that after we're done with this. There's no need for that anymore. <clears throat> And you're going to remove the metal shaft piece here. Might take a little bit of finagling to get that out. And we'll set that to the side over here. Now you're going to remove all the wicks. So that's no longer needed. And then you remove this bottom piece here. Be careful not to lose it, as I just did. And we'll set that to the side. Then you'll need to remove this, this piece here. And then you can take and pull the coil out and throw that away as well. So then all you're left with is the empty shaft space that the coil head and wicking material will take up after we're done with this. So the next step that you want to do is, is you're going to want to take your cancel and your stick or precision tool, whatever, and you're going to want to have a, a tail end about this length, maybe about three inches worth. And you're going to make a, a tight wrap 
about eight times. So we go one, we go two, we go three, four, five, six. Now push, push together. And seven, and finally eight. You can cut the other tail length just a little bit longer than the other one. So much like that. To where you're left with your tails that look like that. Now push this together again to keep it compressed. Then you're going to slide your coil head off of what you use to put it on with. And then you're going to take your needle nose head pliers and you're just going to softly pinch your coil head together. like so to where it keeps the the same shape now the next thing you want to do is you're going to take and put both the tails through the shaft piece and you're going to stop about right there now you need to grab the grommet piece that you removed earlier and you're going to stick this end, the smaller of the end, over the longer of the two tails. And then you're going to push the grommet back up inside of the shaft. like so. Now you need to go back up here to your coil head and by turning the tails you need to adjust where the coil head is just so you have enough room to put the cotton straight through. So you want to have it right about where I have mine positioned right now. Then you want to take a small little connection piece and you're going to slide it up into the grommet. Like so. making sure to keep your tails separated now push that up in there really good take your needle nose pliers and from the from this end of the shaft to the base of the shaft, you're going to want to pinch these two together like so. That way it's completely down inside of there. Just like that. Next you're going to take this piece of the tail here and you're going to do a jiggle to get the excess removed or you can take your scissors and cut it off leaving you 
with a cool hood that looks like that. Now, if for some reason, like what happened with mine here, to where it's down inside, you basically take your 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 jeweler's screw driver, and you're gonna put, you're gonna lift that back up. And then you'll maneuver it back over to the center where it was before. Leaving you with something that looks like that. So then what you're going to do now is you're going to take <clears throat> the base of your BCC you're going to put it back inside like so because you're going to need to fire the coil head before you add the cotton wick. So what you want to do is you want to grab a mod or an ego stick, put the base down on the mod, and we can go ahead and check the resistance. You can see that it says 1.6. Fire it on a low voltage setting about three volts so you want to have it to about three volts and you just simply want to do a test fire just like this to make sure the coil lights up evenly all the way across break off a chunk of cotton not this big though because this right here would be too much cotton so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna tear this in half like so. Then we're just gonna roll the cotton. You roll the cotton like it's a cigarette. Just roll it. Roll it nice and neat, just like that. Once you finish rolling it. You're going to want to make a point just like this. Take your coil head. And start putting the cotton through the coil head like so. Grab a hold of the other side and just slowly pull it through. Pull it back a little bit. <clears throat> now you have a, a cotton wick for your coil. So grab your scissors and you're going to want to cut right along the sides, just right at a diagonal angle, right along the side going down. To where it looks like that. Now do the same with the other side. Do the same with the other side. To where it comes out looking like this. You need to grab an e-liquid. Doesn't matter which one it is. Here happens to be Patriotic Vapes Bavarian Cake. Just 
So what you do is, is you just wet the whole cotton wick, including the coil. Get it nice and saturated. We're pre-treating the coil head. Now you're going to take the shaft for the coil and you're going to put that back in place like so. And now you have completed rebuilding a cotton wicked bottom coil clarimizer coil head. Now you just simply put it back in the base like so. Grab the tank section, put it on the tank, and you've done yourself a bottom coil clarimizer rebuild. Congratulations. And the result on that is pretty much going to be. 1.4 ohms now if you undo two wraps you'll get one ohms so maybe there's a slight chance that if you undo just one wrap that you'll get 1.2 ohms sometimes you'll get one three sometimes you'll get one one so that's the reason why I go eight wraps and you got to keep it compressed. It's almost like building a microcoil, but it's not exactly a microcoil because a microcoil, all of them touch at the same time. And with the way that I'm building them, you still got a little bit of slight space in between each one. So, anyways, for our efforts, this is what we get. much better taste much better vapor production um, because we're not using silica now you can use bio wick but the problem that I've had with using bio wick in a small space is, is that sometimes it'll leak cotton I've never had a leaking issue with so there you have it my peeps your first rebuild tutorial from Zonville and it's for your Kanger type coil heads on about 95% of the bottom coil clarimizers that are out there on the market. You can use this for pretty much um, EVODs, Pro Tanks, um, the V's, the Victories, um, your Sago G hits, um, your Vision Vtox, um, Smokes Trophy, um, the Tumbler Tank, um, because all of them use the same type of coil head. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube. And as always, at 15 watts, Woo! <laughs> Happy baby.